All right, we have a dedicated original Nichibutsu Crazy Climber. They're the original software writers of this game and they licensed it for production in the United States uh, to Taito or Taito. Um, Nihon Busan com Company. It's another name for the Nichibutsu. Um, but I guess they must not have licensed the cocktail version to Taito because all of the cocktails I've seen have been Nichibutsu. And this was made in Japan. This wasn't made in the U.S., so maybe that's part of it. I don't know. But anyway, these are really neat. They've got really nice artwork um, on both control panels. And the instruction cards are nice. It looks like Donkey Kong there, doesn't it? A little bit. Um, and this came out in 1980, which is actually before Donkey Kong. So who knows? Maybe... Nintendo stole this gorilla figure from from Nihon Busan. I don't know. Anyway, this cocktail is in outstanding condition. The glass is really nice with very few scratches. Usually these are all scratched up, but the paint's intact well. Uh, it's not real scratched. The control panels look perfect to me. Um, I, I had to drill the locks for the top because I couldn't get into it. Um, but I've got the latching pieces in the coin box. All you need is a couple of locks, which I can provide if you need them. They're just $2 locks. Um, it's got a working coin mech. It's got the original coin door, and I had to drill that also, and the original coin box. There's the uh, latches for, the, for locking the top if you want to operate this commercially. Um, monitor is in just great condition. Look at that picture. It's, I did not rebuild the monitor. Um, I couldn't bring myself to just because it looks perfect. So it, it's not in need of it yet, but it may at some point. There's the original boards. You can recognize those are not bootlegs because they have the original uh, little green security processor or chip or whatever's in, in that green plastic that they put on the original boards. There are bootlegs out there for this game. Um, cooling fan is working nice and quietly. Looks like somebody replaced the big blue cap for the power. I didn't do that, but it was like that when I got it. This is probably a degauss button. Let's see what happens when I hit it. Yep, we're degaussing the, the tube. Um, it's got a neat little latch here. I've never seen something like this for locking it open. You press down on this to release the top. But there you have it. I have not seen a nicer cocktail crazy climber than this. And oh, I guess I could start it up and play it so that you can hear it going. Yeah, because it's got great sound. One of the first talking games. Now, let me close the top. Turn it on it there. Um, I don't think this is not an easy game to play with one hand. Here, I'll hold still and it should say go for it. Go for it. Yeah. And then when he falls, he'll say, oh no. You know that though, if you're looking at this. Yeah, it's too hard to play with one hand. But I did play it just a minute ago. I made it, made it all the way to the top of the building, which was fun. You get picked up by a helicopter. All right, come on. I need to fall so you can hear it. Here we go. So anyway, you can see it's fully working. There you go.